Hey, Bearski here. This is the only guaranteed method to get around this garbo pairing problem. I cannot express enough that you should be watching the whole thing without skipping around. There is quite a bit of nuance to this, but if you follow the guide exactly, then you'll get your headset working again. Also, the meta store won't work, but I have a workaround in this video. So let's get to it. First thing you need to do is to go to Google on a PC and type in Oculus Developer Hub. Click on the MetaQuest Developer Hub Unity link. Scroll down and click on the Windows Installer link here. Click the big blue download button on the right. Agree to the terms and conditions and click download. Install the program. Click on login with a meta account. Click device manager. Click verify your account. Click on the blue Setup button beside Setup 2 Factor Authentication. Click on 2 Factor Authentication. Click on your profile. Set up an Authenticator app or text message authentication and do the process. Close this window. If you close too many tabs, go back to the Meta Developer Hub app and click Verify again. It'll bring you to the, back to this web page. Click Back to Home. Enter a name of an organization. Literally can be anything non-obscene. Just in this case, I'm just doing a test account, so this is just Bearski test. Click on I understand and click Submit. Go back to the Meta Developer Hub and sign in with your Meta account. Click Continue. Click Device Manager. Click Set up a new device. Click Next. Click on the model of your headset. Click on the headset whose serial number matches yours. If you only have one connected to your at-home network, then only one will show here. If it doesn't show, then you may need to register a device on the Meta website, or turn on Bluetooth on your PC, or make sure that your headset is connected to your at-home network. By the way, please consider liking the video, maybe commenting. That'll work for you. Or if you need some extra help, subbing would be pretty damn amazing to you. I would have been over 100k by now if I had just 10% of the people that watch my videos. So, if you hit that sub, I really appreciate it. Anyways, back to it. Click Next. Click Next on the sign in with MQDH account. Confirm the correct network and click Next. You'll be asked to provide the pairing code. This can be found in the headset. This is my poor attempt of showing you what it looks like in mine. Take this opportunity to activate Developer Mode and click Next. Click Next on the connection successful. Click Finish. Your headset should now be asking to create a boundary. Once you go through all the normal setup stuff, you'll be able to install all of your apps. That's purchased free whatever was tied to your Meta account.
but you will notice when you open the Metastore that it's not working, it's just a blank screen. My method of getting new apps and games is to go to the Meta Browser. This can be done, or just any browser really. You can either, from here you will search up App Lab. Click on Oculus App Lab Game List. Click on Meta. Find a game you want to purchase or download. Once you purchase or download the game with your Meta account, the game will then sync to your headset. This is the best method that I could come up with until Meta figures out what the heck is going on with their app or headset firmware. I'll do my best to support you guys, but I'm not Meta. You can still play online and in multiplayer games. I have some footage in this video of me just joining some random people in Dungeons of Eternity just to confirm multiplayer is working. Also, I have a Discord now. You can check that out in the description. So, if you're one of the super amazing fantastic persons that watch the whole thing start to finish, thank you so much. Audience retention, uh, that's how long you watch the video, is the biggest uh, determining factor to tell the YouTube logarithm to push my content out to more people. So, know that you guys are so very appreciated, and have an awesome day.